Hey out there, hope you're all doing well. Um, recently I've gone uh, to the effort of figuring out how to uh, make Instagram, IGTV, uh, movies, videos um, for my uh, Instagram account. Uh, just because, um, from what I understand, I'm not an uh, Instagram guy myself necessarily, but um, the move towards uh, ranking um, IGTV and uh, Reels in Instagram is uh, now a thing, and um, so I, I thought what I'd do is I'd share uh, my approach to uh, putting together IGTV, IGTV uh, videos and uh, provide you with um, the best uh, settings for exporting those to get the best um, and the best quality uh, IGTV videos on Instagram. So I'm just going to jump in the computer now and um, get this going. Okay, so setting up your project for IGTV is pretty simple. Now, I have a project that I worked on and uploaded to Instagram already open, but before I get sort of into this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you uh, Instagram site where they uh, set out the rules for uploading. So, um, as you may or may not know, when you wanna add a IGTV video to your Instagram account, you, um, or I've been doing it on, on my PC um, by logging into Instagram, um, just on my Mac. So um, that's how I do it here. And this is where you upload your file. And if you look here, it says that um, you can upload a video that's between one and 60 minutes, a landscape or portrait, an MP file, and less than 3.6 gigabytes. So um, that is kind of the parameters that you're working with. Now the, so let's just go back to that. Uh, or sorry, let's just go back to DaVinci now. So um, this isn't a tutorial on how to edit a project or how to put a timeline together or add music or any of that kind of stuff. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can upload, um, you know, as, as per the IGTV video requirements, it can be landscape or portrait. It depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, the important point to note is if you're using a phone and you do upload landscape, you just have to turn the phone sideways and then it switches automatically um, so you can see uh, the landscape version uh, full screen. And that's what I've done so far, um, and that's my preference. So that's how this project is set up. Um, so if you go to the project timeline uh, settings, you'll see that this resolution is 1920 by 1080 and uh, it's at 24 frames per second because the video that I shot um, was shot in 24 frames per second. So you wanna line those all up. You wanna make sure you're, if, if you're doing landscape, you wanna make sure that your timeline resolution is 1920 by 1080, so HD. Uh, that's what you want. Um, and um, I don't change any of the other settings in here. So basically, once you go to uh, the Deliver tab down here at the bottom of your screen, you'll um, be on the Custom uh, tab first, and that's where I work, is in Custom. I don't use any of these other uh, YouTube standard settings or Vimeo. Uh, and as the um, instructions on the IGT, IGTV video uploading uh, site indicated, they're looking for an MP4 format. Now I see people do both MP4 and QuickTime, but I have chosen to do MP4 just because the instructions uh, with um, Instagram suggest that you do that. So that's what I do. I leave it in the same codec uh, resolution and uh, frame rate I've already set. And the key point here is instead of letting it automatic, uh, you restrict the quality to a certain um, number of kilobytes per second. And I have been putting that at 20,000 uh, kilobytes per second. This just helps with um, preventing Instagram from doing the compression on your behalf. You sort of already uh, limit the amount of uh, data in the video, so it just doesn't get compressed and full of artifacting or you know other problems. Um, and so that's the key point. Now, I have seen other people doing it um, at 16,000. Um, I've tested it at 20,000 and that works for me. 
And what I'll do is I'll put a link to my uh, Instagram account uh, in the description box. And so you can go to my Instagram and, um, you know, forget whether it's good or not. That's not the point. Um, <laughs> uh, as far as me go, goes, I'm just sort of, uh, you know, working class with this stuff. But um, look at that and you'll be able to see the quality of the um, video on Instagram on your phone um, with an output that is MP4, uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, with the quality restricted to 20,000 KBS. So once you do that, you name and you pick a location for your file. I mean, this one's not named right now, but then you would add to the render queue um, put it into a folder on your um, your PC or your Mac, whatever you're using. Then you upload it here. You give your details and your description. And you can also, this post preview just um, adds a preview of your IGTV video onto your regular um, grid. Uh, you can do that if you want. I usually do. Um, and then you can create a separate um, cover for the IGTV video. Anyway, that's all I'm going to get into now. Yeah, like I said, check out my Instagram uh, to see the quality of the video at the render settings um, I'm working at. And um, it would be awesome to hear some feedback whether people have got um, um, experimented with other things, have, have found there are uh, better, better settings to deliver on so that we can sort of help educate um, ourselves and the people that um, stumble on this video. Hope you enjoyed this and we will see you on the next one. Uh, take care and stay well out there.